a reusable aerodynamic flare ejection capability. Why would such a concept be needed, you might ask? Well, if you're a pilot of an aircraft, be it a helicopter or jet, and you have a heat-seeking missile bearing down on you, you want to make sure that your defensive system of flares uh, are working appropriately. DSTO studies uh, flare behaviour, and both for support to the defence current uh, fleet, as well as to try and develop new formulations, new uh, applications and new abilities in the flares. So what you see here is a cost-effective solution in doing this aspect. Uh, a real uh, time appropriate, uh, most appropriate uh, scenario would involve an aircraft, but that's obviously very difficult, uh, very costly I should say, and logistically awkward to try and organise um, on short notice or, or particular times of the year. Whereas having a projectile that can be fired from a gas gun, have a, a small magazine, here you can see four square flares, but we have uh, magazines which suit round and rectangular aspects as well. Uh, so having a projectile that can be launched, deploy the flares in a particular space in the air con uh, reliably and always accurately, and then uh, float down gently through the use of a parachute system, which is in the back of it, um, obviously comes across as being a, a, a very worthwhile um, bonus type of resource uh, in the cost restrained times that we have. This particular uh, facility is an example of a collaboration that DSTO has done with a company called Ballistic Systems Limited. It's taken about uh, 12 years approximately to refine and come up with the, the current um, um, uh, version of, the, of the, the projectiles that we have and we're very happy with them. But as I mentioned, DSTO uh, looks at all types of aspects of uh, flare technologies. So although the RAFIC is our uh, ultimate testing uh, facility, we also have laboratories here at Edinburgh where we do formulation and small uh, runs of flare um, uh, grains where we produce them ourselves and we can test them both on the RAFIC as well on, as on our static systems. We have various um, static facilities that we use uh, to test uh, under the quiet conditions of, of flare burning. One of the things that needs to be appreciated is the aerodynamic aspect of, um, of using the flare uh, capability is that uh, when launched uh, in the air under aerodynamic uh, conditions, the flares undergo tumbling, they undergo cooling aspects, they undergo uh, particular ballistic um, uh, forces that can't be replicated in a static laboratory. So again, the RAFIC comes in uh, quite good for its uh, liability and uh, effectiveness. So overall, um, the DSTO looks at uh, collaborations with uh, anyone who's interested in research uh, into flare technologies, both from the production for defence purposes as well as uh, general improvements on, on formulations, whether they be for um, environmentally more appropriate aspects or spectrally more attuned aspects. Um, I welcome any kind of uh, comments and, and uh, questions at the end of the session. And lastly, I uh, wish to say that we have a um, projectile in our weapons and combat systems division stand in the uh, other atrium that you can uh, get up close and, and see quite easily. Thank you again.